capacity building and research support assistance in line with global best practices. The need for improved basic infrastructure in public schools was re echoed at the graduation ceremony of pupils from LEA Primary School, Dakwa, in Abuja Municipal Area Council, AMAC, of the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja. This is the seventh graduation ceremony of the school since inception. Traditionally, in the Nigerian education system, students and pupils are moved to the next class after meeting the requirements. LEA Primary School, Dako, is one of such schools where pupils moving to the next class are celebrated at the annual graduation and award ceremony. And this year was no different. So far, seven set of uh, people have graduated from this uh, school. And the number of people that are graduating today, they are 35. The school's head teacher, Aisha Ahmed, and some parents, while expressing joy, called for improving infrastructure in the school. I'm very proud. Um, I consider my child as a very special person. Very, very special, very dear to me. And um, I also consider it a privilege for her to be in a public school. The school is lacking in physical infrastructure in the area of fencing, um, um, uh, public utilities, especially toilets. The seats are not good. The building in its own, on itself, the building, the building structures are not, they really need to be worked on. And the challenges is uh, fencing the school. But when I came, I put on little effort with the community. So we are able to start something because the villagers are coming inside the school compound to drop uh, this in refuse. The high point of the event was a display of dance by the graduating pupils, accompanied by parents and teachers. I'm very happy to graduate from primary school to secondary school. I'm, I'm also thankful to my teachers for their knowledge they have given to me. As I have graduated here, and I also hope I also look forward to graduating in my secondary school. The ceremony concluded with an atmosphere of smiles and cheers. Binta Booker, AIT News, Abuja. The high cost of fees in and private schools has been identified as a hindrance to assessing quality education. This was the view of some parents at the median graduation and speech giving day of the Gordon Ellipse Academy in Abuja. Other Muslim schools around, you know, but we have a unique curriculum. And I'm willing to even share it, but it takes a lot to have what I have today. There are no parents that are not paying attention to school. Only that some parents cannot afford, especially the high cost of school, the school fees and all these uh, other fees attached, especially in Abuja. Because uh, an average child pays half a million naira per term. So it's not uh, every parent that can afford it. Congratulating the graduating pupils, the graduates were advised to build on the knowledge acquired from their alma mater. I have done very well. I'm quite impressed with the performance of the children. You know, they actually performed quite a number of presentations. And it is obvious that the, stu the students and the school has done very well to groom students or pupils to reach this level of education. I think it's a lifelong venture, so they shouldn't think that because they have graduated, they are done with um, learning. So they should continue and continue. In fact, it's a primary school, so life begins now. They would really have a lot in front of them. I congratulate them, and they shouldn't forget all the teachings from this school. They shouldn't forget what they have been taught. They should continue with, with the imbibing the knowledge and the characteristics that they were taught in this school. Amazing and uh uh, academically and uh, as you know they also have the Islamic section for the kids and that is uh, what every parent is proud of to give to his child and they are really still the owner of the school Dr. Fatizana to the excited pupils speak about their graduation a nice solemn joyous occasion and I'm one of the graduates and I like it I'm happy because I'm moving to a next stage of my education that there was a lecture, a drama, and it was so much fun. 
the speech and prize giving day which also featured drama was described by those who attended as educating and entertaining aqua on ait news abuja this is abuja reports reaching you live from aqua Duma hill studios in asokuru district of the nation's capital here's a reminder of our top stories Workers of Federal Civil Service Commission protest against poor sanitary condition of head office in Wuse district. Land allotees failed to develop Karishi satellite town after provision of engineering infrastructure by government. And Nigeria set to stop importation of petroleum products in 2019 as Federal Executive Council approves policy document. The Federal Executive Council has approved the Nigerian Petroleum Policy Document, which will help the country exit the importation of petroleum products by 2019. Briefing State House correspondents after the weekly Federal Executive Council meeting on Wednesday, Minister of State Petroleum Resources Ibe Kachuku said the document was last reviewed in 2007. I explained that the review of the policy documents became necessary due to the dynamics of the oil sector. He noted that apart from fluidity in pricing, there was also uncertainty in the pricing regime of crude. Certain fundamentals, some of the policies were already beginning to pursue, but now crystallized in the Federal Executive Council uh, policy memo. One of that was, for example, ensuring that we're working assiduously to exit importation of petroleum products in 2019. Um, it captured the fact of the cash call changes that we've done, which is enabling the sector to fund itself substantially through incremental volumes. It captured um, reorganizations in NMPC that need to take place uh, and in the oil sector to enable efficiency and, and, and produce a lot of accountability. Minister of State, Budget and National Planning, Zainab Ahmed, said the Federal Executive Council also approved the National Social Protection Policy. The government since 2006 has started the social investment programs and uh, each of these programs that have been rolled out. So what we have done is uh, to submit to council today and council approved a policy that is largely inspirational, aspirational, but seeks to ensure that every Nigerian citizen has at least the minimum of what is required in terms of human development and human protection. Council equally approved the national employment policy. It aims to give decent jobs to Nigerians. We crystallize this particular document which aims at, at uh, giving decent job for people. Uh, job creation is uh, something that cuts across all sectors, multi-sectoral, it's not limited to even one ministry. All government ministries, departments and agencies are to apply the policy in fighting unemployment nationwide. Ebuwa Omo Osaigi. AIT News, Abuja.